All right, hello. How are you guys? I'm back! This is the funnest thing to do. I like live streaming. You guys have a lot of things in this chat. It's really funny. Well, my name is Trudy Benjamin. I am a remote viewer for Farsight Institute and it is going to be a very interesting conversation today. Um, by the way, if you guys um, would like to ask any questions, please type them right now. I'm kind of reading through everything you got <laughs> and it's it's really funny because I'm excited to answer some questions already. Ooh. Did we RV the recent protests? I, yes, we did. I, I think, I'm pretty sure we did. Um, it was kind of, it was kind of interesting, but I'm pretty sure that's what the news was talking about. We got our news session for May really accurate. I don't know if you've seen that, but it was really cool. What took so long? Um, the live stream started at six. That's what happened. Sorry for the wait. Earthquakes in California. I don't know. Cell phones. Um, it took me like, how long did it take me to become confident in my remote viewing? That's the question Gypsy says. I, it took me about two to three months in to start noticing that it was really working out for me. I would say two to three months. Mm. What are some questions you guys have today? Do I use any kind of a psychic shield? That's an interesting question. Um, no, for remote viewing, you don't really need a psychic shield for anything. There's nothing to um, shield yourself from because you're viewing things from the past, present, and the future at the same time. Uh, for me, I like remote viewing because it helps me connect to my mind and my body and my spirit all at the same time. Um, I use remote viewing casually. <laughs> I use remote viewing casually for things like things like making art and things like teaching kids how to use things, uh, use their mind to get rid of their anxiety because I'm also a private homeschool teacher as well. Um, it's very important to understand how to use your intuition, how to trust your intuition in general. So I like practicing remote viewing mainly because of it, how much it helps me to focus my mind and center my thoughts to a direct thing in the present moment. Um, so I use it for casual everyday things as well. But for Farsight, it's much more intricate and it has to do with events that are happening outside of my reality. So there's no real shield that you need for that as well. Um, lately, uh, for like whenever I'm doing my remote viewing, I've been trying to focus my mind on visualizing things and then painting it with art 
So if you haven't noticed, I do have a lot of artwork that is really based all around remote viewing on my website at trudybenjamin.com. And one of the art pieces that I remote viewed back when I was being trained was a art piece called the Christmas. And that art piece is really pink and it has um a woman that has a shield on her head and she has a crystal on the inside of that shield but she's in the clouds it's really beautiful um but that's what i visualized one, during one time of remote viewing that's like one of the most coolest visuals i've ever had so i had to paint it well i graphic designed it and then painted it as well um it's two completely different versions of it it's I'll show you guys. Give me a sec. Found it. So this is what it looks like. It has a woman that is completely black, but her like reflection is very glossy of like rainbow hues and it, the sunset shines off of her skin and on the inside I visualized the galaxy of her head shield but it was like so it was like a dome kind of like kind of like the woman was a protector of the universe and she's in the sky and she's the protector of this specific crystal that no one else can reach but her it's really cool um but that's what i visualized one time during remote viewing it was a really beautiful uh, sight to see um but yeah that's Crystal Woman, that's one main example of flashes that come to my mind whenever I'm remote viewing for art. You can see a lot more on my website at trudybenjamin.com too. Lately, I've been also trying out um, remote viewing different things for my family members um because the coronavirus is a thing <laughs> you know so i also try to remote view um family members questions or their targets as well because there's a lot of questions people have about multiple things not only just the virus but about their future and stuff like that i've also been getting a lot of questions about past life remote views and that has been popped up in my emails a lot and you would be surprised how related a lot of people's past lives are it's really cool um but if you do want a private session you can email me at trudy benjamin uh, info at trudybenjamin.com. I'm going to respond to some of these messages too. Oh. Oh, thank you. Can I read mines? I'm. Ooh. I don't really know how to answer that. Wow. Um, also, if you see me doing this a lot, it's because I just got LASIK eye surgery. Honestly, the most beautiful investment I've ever made in my life. I did it a week ago, but these lights, man, they're getting to me. Yeah, if you do ever, think about LASIK eye surgery. Like I suggest it personally. It was really, it was a really good idea to do now that I can see everything without my glasses reflecting off of stuff. 
<laughs> Can cannabis users do RV when they're, they aren't under the influence? Yes, you can. Anybody can do RV. Um, you just have to be very presently sober within your own mind. Talk about the ETs and how they can sense you are present. Um, mm -mm. <laughs> Mm -mm. I don't believe that the ETs are important to talk about right now. Oh, wow. Remote view the Georgia Guidestones. I believe that web that, that video is actually already remote viewed. There's a video of that already on our Farsight page. Um, I wouldn't want to go there personally. The Georgia Guidestones. No. I'm fine. I'm, over. I'm fine right here. That video was crazy. Oh, wow. Do I get headaches from remote viewing? Um, sometimes. It just depends on what I'm thinking about. Sometimes when I'm remote viewing um, a specific subject for too long, I get frustrated and my head starts to think about too many things. But that's, oh, it's either that or if I'm um, focused on one thing, one, one, target or one event too long in general if i'm doing a session i can't do it longer than like 30 minutes i'll just get annoyed can you tell if anyone's remote viewing you hmm no Did you notice a general improvement in the intuition practicing RV? Yes, of course. Um, just, just the simple affirmation that we use during our sessions is already helpful to the mind's improvement of its intuition in general. Um, the affirmation we have starts with the sentence <laughs> um give me a second these comments are kind of sliding all the way down too fast the affirmation begins with I am a spiritual being. Because I am a spiritual being, I'm able to perceive beyond all boundaries of time and space. So that helps with your intuition in general. If you continue to repeat that phrase over and over and over again during the day, subconsciously, your mind will begin to believe that. Um, but after about two to three months, like I said, that's when I began to notice a lot of differences between me trusting my intuition on a daily practice of every, everything I do. So, well, lip gloss dropped. Um, yeah, that that's a, just a general affirmation that has definitely helped improve my mind from calming down its anxiety because I had a lot of anxiety before remote viewing. Now I'm mainly thinking about the present moment. Did you already have any psychic abilities before you started to learn RV? Mm. I believe that we all have some type of psychic ability in general, but you just have to focus on it. 
But personally, I don't know if I did have any psychic abilities before I started learning RV. I would say my dreaming skills, but is that a psychic thing? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't I'm not sure. I would have to have someone else judge that, not me. When you're doing your day to day, does still mind awareness help you to pick up more of the unconscious signals from individuals you encounter? Yes. Still minded awareness is allowing the mind to not think about too much all at once, which is a very powerful thing. It slows down your brain from creating too much stress. Um, which is what meditation helps with. So if you're in a constant state of meditation within your mind, more psychic signals can come to your brain than usual. Um, but you also have the choice to avoid those signals and ignore them. So it's up to you. Has anyone tried RVing how to build a stage st st oh, stargate or craft? No, I haven't personally, but remote viewing sessions are a stream of thoughts coming to the consciousness's mind, kind of like flashes of images, like a slideshow. It's not about steps that can be built. There's no specific way to determine or decipher how to build something We're using low level data. That means words that a kindergartner through a third grader could understand. Simple things like land, water, and mountains cannot describe how to build, but it may describe what the structure is. Does that make sense? I think it might. Yeah, it's not, um, it, if you continuously write down random words like hard, man-made, structure, tall, long, those are descriptions of something in the area, but not descriptions of how to build something. Does that make sense? If you could s describe how the structure, what the structure is made out of, then probably you can understand what the steps are afterwards. Yes, but not step by step. No, we can't remote view how to step by step build anything. There's too many things coming to the conscious and subconscious all at once to decipher what order to go in. You just write it down. How do you do a mind probe? All lessons about um, remote viewing can be taught by either me or Princess, and you can email us. And personally, my email is info at trudybenjamin.com. I explain all my class sessions and weekly like practices of how to remote view. Um, and I send the information and the syllabus out in my email. I'll type it again. Yeah, it's info at trudybenjamin.com. Do I have any more particulars to add to my news report for the month of May? Um, in May, I believe, uh, for the news report, I saw a visual of a jail cell and or jail that was completely messy and dirty and unorganized. But I'm sure that's all jail cells at the moment, considering there's riots um, going on. So just visualize um, 
the, the, the news report that we released on Farsight Prime from May, the news report, that whole session for me was just a visualization of people just being annoyed inside of jail. Um, but that is a deduction in general, jail. I'm not sure if it's an actual jail cell, but I'm, I'm, my images, the images that kept coming to my mind whenever I was sketching was of people in jail complaining about how unorganized and dirty, and it's already making me cringe. I'm sorry, I can't think about that anymore. Um, yeah, no, I continue to think about things that were wet and disgustingly stinky and unorganized and messy inside of a jail cell. And there was a guard and he had a dog and um, the guys inside of the jail cell were like so rowdy and angry that they were dirty still and wet. I don't know. I have no clue what was happening in that area. I don't know if it manifested. I don't like the feeling of thinking about that session, but you can watch it on Farsight Prime. <laughs> you definitely understand how much cringe I feel if you watch the main news on Farsight. Ugh. Thinking about it, I will no longer do. Do you feel and think having a well-balanced physical vessel while attention to detoxifying the body plus meditation is essential for keeping one's inner vision and one's antennas clear? Yes. That was very accurate. Thank you for explaining it that way. Yes, I do. But that's just ancient practices of keeping the body mind, body, and spirit healthy and clean and clear in general. So keeping the mind calm is the best way to live a longer life. Yeah. What does a remote viewing session entail? Um, a lot of details. <laughs> I'm... I'm genuinely sure that if you watch a Farsight video of us remote viewing a session, you'll understand that we describe a lot of basic low level details about specific targets. Um, oh, it's, it's very cool to see the results. It's like watching a picture unfold, but that's from my perspective at least. Can you remote view how to remote view? What? No. <laughs> can you observe targets without feeling them? Or can you shut yourself off from feeling too much? Feeling is all in the mind. I can allow myself personally to shut off my nervous system's ability to like physically feel what's happening, but I can also allow it at the same time. Um, whenever I feel emotions during a remote view session, I prefer to detach myself from someone else's emotions, but in order to get the target completely relatable, I actually do want to feel what is happening personally. Um, so I tend to describe based on the first senses that come to me, whether it be taste, smell, touch, feel, hear, or think. Um, so if I'm feeling like something is wet or mushy. I'm gonna really think about it, but I'm also placing my conscious mind in that present state of awareness. 
and then coming back to self um, by describing it. I don't always have to do that though. Sometimes my descriptions can be so basic, it's not interesting. So I have to really do, I have to really deeply feel what a subject is thinking and feeling and sensing in order to describe the environment correctly as well. Probably. If you do want a private RV session though, please email info at trudybenjamin.com. I'll answer any questions there too. But I like to continue like, I'd like to continue showing you guys some more uh, artwork that I you have made based on some of my RV sessions. All right, so this art piece is about uh, self-love and the book in the girl's hand that I made has chapters in the book about self-love and self-awareness and eating healthy and meditating properly. Um, in the book, in the, I decorated the house in the background um, to like look similar to what my home looks like with all of my art in the background and plants. But that picture is of a woman that was on Instagram actually. It is not a picture of me that I made, but it's beautiful. This art piece is called Self Love. It's available on my website at trudybenjamin.com. And it's just one sketch that reminds me of my everyday life practices of um, self-mastery and meditation before art remote viewing. I would like to see what you guys think about all of the um, art pieces on my website. It's okay. Comment below what your favorite art piece is. I want to see, and hey, I might even give everybody in this live stream a um, a discount code for purchasing any art pieces that you would like. Just because you're a Farsight fan, that would be cool. <laughs> I'll email the discount code to you if you if you're interested in purchasing one. Ooh. I'm looking at all these comments. My website is called trudybenjamin.com. Ooh. Okay. Courtney. 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 How do I get it back to me? You just click on whichever picture you want here. Scroll that oh, part. main screen. Okay, cool. Thanks. And then do the flip. I got it. Got it. Got it. Hi. <laughs> My goal is to um, actually get to know you guys and get to understand what you guys are interested in for me to art view for you. Um, and also 
I want to know if you're interested in my private experiences for any of the videos that you've seen on farsightprime.com. Which videos were your favorite? That's a good one. If you do want a private um, RV'd art piece, that's definitely available for me to do for you. I can remote view an art session, uh, an art painting for you. Um, you can email me about that as well. Do I have any clothing merchandise? No, I don't. That would be really cool. I can try to do that. Oh, wow, that's a beautiful one. Yeah. Thank you for telling me which ones are your favorites. I like Oshun and I like Self Love a lot. Those are some of my two favorites. Can you pick one person and see if they're being honest? Yes, you can pick one person during an RV session to see if they're telling a lie or if they're telling the truth. Um, I would just have to know. I would just have to know that that's all I'm trying to figure out. Um, that would have to be a specific movement during questioning of what types of our, um, our remote viewing sessions that I, I would allow. Um, some people like to give multiple targets in one session. So for example, if you want to find out if someone is saying something truthfully or is they're saying something in a sketchy agenda-like way, that's an actual like movement, move to the person's mindset. It's called a deep mind probe. Um, we can deep mind probe during remote viewing sessions. And sometimes it can get really detailed. But yeah, that would be a cool, if you want me to remote view something like that, yeah, I can do it for you. Make an art piece for Target, 19237053. Remote viewing sessions by me are always paid for first before I do the remote viewing session. So if you want, you could just email me about whether or not you want an RV session at info at trudybenjamin.com. I typed it again. It's in the it's in the chat. Look. But yeah, I can answer anybody's questions in my emails as well. One beautiful thing I like on my website, one beautiful art piece that I like uh to see remote viewed was forgiveness. Forgiveness on my art website is a hummingbird that's like flying really fast but it's like a snapshot of the hummingbird it's so beautiful it's so beautiful i was obsessed with that one when i was when i was making that i love hummingbirds they're really pretty trudy have you ever had an encounter with someone intuitively and knew them from the meeting and put it on canvas intuitively. What? Have you ever had an encounter with someone intuitively and knew them from the meeting and put it to a canvas intuitively, like a scribe explaining a spirit? Hmm. 
Interesting. Weird question is what the last sentence she said was. I'm not sure what that meant. Um, I'm gonna move on to the next question. Can you pick one person? Okay. Is the moon a physical rock? Yes, it is. I've removed that one. Oh. I'll type the email address for anybody that has any more questions at the bottom. Hummingbird and freedom. Hmm. Freedom is a, a painting of me with a easel, oh, not not easel, a, a painting plate and a paintbrush, and I'm laying in the grass. That one was really like one of the first times I've ever drawn myself. Like remote viewing honestly always leads me to creating things that come first to my mind during a flash sketch. But I tried remote viewing sketches of me in the future and that resulted in freedom on my website. And my locks were like really long and flowy in the grass. It was really cool. I like that one. It's in the background image of self-love too. So there's a painting within a painting <laughs> on self-love. In the background is, <laughs> is the image of freedom. There you go. Someone just asked what is the website, so I just typed it in. Did I RV who shot Tupac? No, I didn't. <laughs> no one's given me that target yet. How often is my remote viewing interrupted? Usually my remote viewing is interrupted by humans like neighbors and or the doorbell. Mm -hmm. Never really interrupted by anything else or my cell phone. Oh, wow. So this is... <laughs> When, when you remote view the past life person and deep probe them, can they block? Hmm. No. No one can really block you. You can block yourself during a remote view session. Um, some things are triggering to the subconscious mind. This come, the subconscious mind wants you to know that it knows a lot of things, but the conscious mind can also block you from your subconscious. So there's a pathway that you have to do a balancing for during meditation. But if you're focused on everything else in life, you're not going to remote view properly. And you're also going to try to create a story in your head, which is a block. Never really a session where I'm doing something and uh, I hear like, loud spirits telling me not to do it or that's not happening it's just the mind wanting to create a story or not and if your mind is calm enough to just allow itself to write descriptions instead of trying to write down an actual made-up story then you'll be able to get the target correct most of the time Oh, wow. Why can't you RV winning lottery numbers? 
you're not really gonna ever know that answer unless you do it every day. <laughs> I personally have never tried remote viewing RV numbers because you need to describe a target very specifically. Um, at numbers have a long list of probabilities. Remote view sessions are probabilities of reality. So there's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of lottery numbers in what in, in one session, you're going to have to go through all of them. And I'm talking 20 pages worth of descriptions of what these lottery ticket numbers are. So that I won't even, <laughs> I won't even try because you would have to experiment with multiple people all at once to make sure that that target is correct. And, oh, there's multiple probabilities of this reality. We have bubbles. There's even something called the Mandela effect that proves that we can possibly change reality. And everybody remembers one version of it but then there's another version of it right in front of your face. So I'm, I'm not sure how to remote view lottery numbers, but give me the target and I'll try. <laughs> Email me at info, <laughs> info at trudybenjamin.com. Trust me, I'll try it. I really would. Um, I don't even play the lottery either, so I'm very serious. You like my art? Thanks, Robin. Ooh. You like my earrings. Thank you a lot. Thank you. I need to put, <laughs> would I need to put a note on the door to let people know that <laughs> I'm RVing and do not disturb? Not everybody knows what remote viewing is. Um, and I, yeah, not everybody does. My goal this month, personally, is to sell at least five art pieces on my website. Well, five of the remote viewing art pieces. Like, I, I really, I sense that number just randomly. Five. <laughs> five art pieces. I would love to see that manifest within my reality. <laughs> Why can't you RV winning lot? Oh, yeah, I already explained that. Who's ever tried remote viewing themselves? Like, who personally in this group chat has tried remote viewing? Type, type like me below. Say me, and I want to hear your experiences. Would astral traveling be more logical to acquire lottery numbers? You can possibly place yourself there. Astral travel, mm. I'm not sure. Astral traveling is completely different than remote viewing. So wouldn't you try to astral travel or astral project to a different location in time? It's different and less accurate than remote viewing a specific location in time. Astral traveling is going to a lower dimensional chakra that is literally projecting from the solar plexus. So your mindset is thinking about delusions and illusions and pleasure and pain. So astral realms are completely different currents of frequency than it would be if you were using your higher chakras to project to somewhere else like remote viewing. Remote viewing is much more accurate than astral travel 
astral realm is a completely different current frequency within the body and remote viewing is a completely different currency wave within the mind so you're going to get two different results and astral projection is probably not one of them that will manifest i've tried i've tried the thing where you lay the the lottery ticket somewhere and then astral project to it i've tried that it didn't work but um remote viewing i have not tried for lottery tickets so haha uh -huh. someone give me this target i would like to see i would like to see what the results are for that that gets me excited what crystals are helpful during rv amethyst I tried RVing. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that won't be me in the future. Oh, wow. You RVed something and it was lime green. And it had lime green eyes and it was 10 feet tall. That's way too deep. Freedom is a state of mind. Yes, it is. Do you think that we're all now living what was described in Native American Hopi prophecy? I have no clue. I tried. I made it to the store window and I looked through to see the winning lottery numbers. There was a sign in front of it blocking it. I was asleep when it happened. Interesting. How are doppelgangers doing today i don't know i've never met my doppelganger and i would always i've always really wondered what that is like that would be a cool session to do find out whether or not doppelgangers are your genetic code repeated in reality somewhere else or if you just came back in time and placed yourself somewhere else on earth knowing that your other part was there like what is a doppelganger like do you ever get to meet your doppelganger i know that only people that are famous get to meet their doppelgangers because they're just like that well known but like there are a lot of people around the world that look exactly like each other and they never meet. Why is that so? Like we say this is a small world, but why do we not get to ever see our doppelgangers? That's trippy. I don't know. That's a good one. I like that question. But yeah. Tell me, keep telling me what your favorite art pieces are on my website. I'm going to be revealing a lot of original canvases this week on my website at trudybenjamin.com so that people can see the different phases of what flashes of images come to my mind during remote viewed sessions. And I also teach um, art as well. I teach, Af uh, I teach Afrocentricism and the Fibonacci sequence within my art lessons and i teach how to graphic design watercolor and paint acrylic all on zoom but you can you can check that out on my website as well and sign up whenever you're ready it's really fun i love oh i love teaching like how to use your intuition from rv sessions just to place it into a form of art like a, a flash sketch within our youtube videos you see that we flash sketch on the whiteboard but i try to flash sketch on canvas and i also teach how to do it mainly to kids at the moment because corona has been messing with the school system and people have been wanting their kids to learn art at home but i also want you to learn um graphic designing 
and acrylic and watercolor. And even if you want to learn remote viewing, I can teach that as well. Doppelgangers are imposters. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I've never met my doppelganger. I don't know if I even have one. I'm pretty sure that doppelgangers are just genetic codes repeated over and over. Or your frequency just traveled across the distance of all forms of time and space at that one second and then flashed your images everywhere within wombs of moms and you never see each other ever again. I don't know. My mind is not comprehending what a doppelganger really is because I've never met my own. Have you ever seen the Akashic Records? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have because I was trying to purposely. Um, I visualized myself, but me going inward to the core of myself. And I saw this weird DNA spiral. And then as soon as I got to the bottom of it, my childhood, and then I saw what I wanted to see, which was a trip. And that's all I can say. <laughs> it was a trip. I would like to paint it because I can't explain it properly. <laughs> Ooh. Right? I think, yeah, I think doppelgangers are just different forms of probabilities of reality. Mm. Meeting your doppelganger is not important in life. No, it's not. But it also shows, I think, it, I think it would be important if you were a person that understood genetic modifying. Like being able to use alchemy to change the body and understand how the body is going to duplicate itself again is really important. Like that's a skill I would like to learn is how to genetically modify things or do genetic splicing so that I can like understand what type of things to avoid, kind of like genetically modified foods and stuff. Yeah, that would be a skill I would like to learn. And then if I ever met a doppelganger, I would be able to track down whether or not we have the same genetic code. Boom, boom, boom. That's, that's, where, that's where the camera would zoom in and then, and then everything would just like shake and then I would go like this, but yeah. I don't know genetic modifying and genetic gene splicing. So doppelgangers don't matter at the moment. <laughs> well, that's a lot of different things, but yeah, Please send me your things that you would like for me to remote view at my email. That's some, that's a lot for me to actually remote view at the moment. Are there more RV sessions recording to the depth traps plan? I am not sure, my friend. Courtney does not tell us what we remote view before we do it. So if there is, I hope not, because that was a lot for me. Death Traps is a very triggering video, but it's important for us to uncover things that the government or at least science does not know how to reveal or is not allowed to reveal. That's what changes the world. Mm -hmm.
Mm -hmm. And you know what else changes the world? Actually knowing how to decipher whether or not you're using your intuition or if you are just creating different thought forms of reality based on um, what you want to see. Knowing how to decipher between those two is really important to change reality as well, which is why I think the um, protests are continuing to happen more and more every single day because we're understanding that we can decipher between what type of reality we want to see and what type of reality we will not accept. It's a very important question to ask the self is, why do I think that my form of consciousness is much more better than someone else's? Which is the word superiority in itself. That's a serious collective Thing that the earth is screaming at us right now. Um, I don't know if anybody's watched the show called Tiger King on Netflix, but it's a very important like message at the end about how people really need to pay attention to earth and the nature of animals and how they're actually screaming out messages to us that we need to consciously hear and be able to notice. Um, within our minds, like as a species, we should generally be more loving to each other. So that's why I think this protest situation is happening all around. Although during May, when we did remote view session, remote view the protests, like our new session in May, I didn't notice was going to be that vivid, but it's really important for the conscious mind to understand how to decipher between its subconscious and its manifestation pathways. Um, so if I were to genetically modify anything, it would be for us to be better humans, not for me to just learn alchemy in general. I think it's all about understanding how to use the mind better to save humanity, which is beautiful beautiful part about remote viewing because it's like the first step you know i have two more minutes so if you do have any questions about rv um in general about me making um any rv artwork for you or if you want to learn remote viewing sessions or if you even want to buy some of my artwork my goal is to have five art pieces sold Ooh. And if you are interested in getting a art piece on my website that is posted up right now, I will message you a discount code. Email me at info at trudybenjamin.com and you will get a foresight discount code after the live stream. All right, you guys. It was nice talking to you. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep um, all remote viewing session classes and lessons in the beginning of July, June and July. Well, no, at the beginning of July and August. So please email me so that you can understand more about RV sessions and my private RV sessions. Um, please email me if you want any questions answered. Okay. See you later. See you next time.